Here at New Blue, we're very excited to be rolling out Titler Live 5. The Titler series has always been the best way to add professional, animated graphics to your broadcast, but the reason we're excited is because Titler Live 5 expands the scope of what it means to be broadcast graphics software. It's more than a character generator, it's a designer, data hub, and live video input all rolled into one, and the interplay between these systems forms a uniquely powerful graphic solution that you can't get anywhere else. My name is Sean Wilmon, and I am a solutions expert at Nublu, and today I have the pleasure of walking you through the creation and operation of a project in Tidler Live 5. Tidler Live 5 comes in three versions, Present, Sport, and Broadcast. The topics covered in this video apply to all three versions. You can see a complete feature breakdown on the Nublu website. The first thing you'll see when you run Tidler Live 5 is a screen that looks like this. This is the playout interface, and it's split between five main panels, which can be resized or moved at will. It's comprised of the preview and program monitors, graphics library, layer list, and layer properties. The most basic way to create a graphic is to drag a template from the library, manually enter your text, and click play. Just like that, we've got a lower third being sent out, in this case via NDI, that's ready to be received by our switcher. When you select a graphic, it'll be visible inside the preview window, and once it is sent live, it'll be visible in the program monitor. The library is where you can find all of your installed templates or save graphics to a new template. The layer list is where you build out and select all of the elements of your project, and the layer properties window is the in-app location for managing your graphics data and contents. Of course, you're not limited to just using templates. Tidler Live lets you create new graphics from scratch. Whether you're using a new graphic or a template from the library, you can enter the designer by clicking Edit Graphic or right-clicking on it in the layer list and selecting Edit. Keep in mind this will only edit the graphics instance in the layers list and it won't affect the template itself. The New Blue Designer is a complete graphic design suite specifically suited for the creation of broadcast graphics. Visual elements can be added and edited quickly. The workspace acts as a live preview of your graphics. The timeline assists in animation, including a customizable pause point, which determines on which frame the graphic will be held while it is live. And the properties panel is where you customize the look, location, and effects for each element. Within the style tab, basic changes such as text options and color and image texturing can be instantly changed, with more advanced options like outlines, shadows, and 3D extrusion added from their respective dropdowns. When adding text, you have the option of adding either static or variable text. This is the first and simplest representation of the variable system that's used by Tidler Live, which allows you to dictate which elements of your design can be driven by live data. Static text can only be changed manually in the designer, while variable text can be changed from outside sources, ranging from manual changes by the operator to automatic updates from cloud-based spreadsheets. In this video, we'll only be working with text variables, but other types of variables include colors, images, live video, and data graphs. More text options, such as uppercase only, letting, and character width, give you considerable flexibility in fine-tuning your text. Animations can be applied to any element by expanding the library and selecting transitions, navigating to an item in the animations folder, and dragging it onto the object in the timeline. Dragging it to the beginning of an object will add it as an intro animation, and dragging it to the end will add it as an outro. You always want to make sure that your animations do not intersect with the pause point, or else the graphic will hold in mid-animation. Alternatively, it's possible to keyframe any object in the new blue designer, but the built-in library presets have the benefit of applying procedurally generated animations to individual characters within an object, such as letters in a text field. Besides keyframing, additional options in the transformation controls allow you to customize the shape of your object. For example, rectangles have the option to slant their sides or curve their corners. More advanced shapes can be imported as Photoshop and vector files. New to Titler Live 5 is the ability to designate an object to match the length or location of any entered text. With an object selected, open to the Motion and Data tab and navigate to the Object Following section. Set its behavior to either move or resize to match the followed object, and select the object you want to match from the Follow dropdown. Now when text is entered manually or driven automatically, the object will automatically adjust itself to the length of the new text string. These features, procedural animation and object following, 
are just some of the ways that Tidler Live's unique interplay between systems, graphic design, and live data unlock solutions you can't get anywhere else. Our last step in preparing this graphic is to name our variables for easy identification and data assignment. Select a text element, and then, from inside the Motion and Data tab, navigate to the Text Variable section. Leave the input selection box set to None, and change the name to something descriptive of the text field's purpose. The most common elements of lower thirds are name and subtitle. We've got a third text field in this graphic, so let's just call it Subtitle 2. Now that our graphic is ready for broadcast, let's click the green checkbox to save our changes and return to the playout interface. You'll see your variable names displayed besides their respective text strings in the Layer Properties window. We've already seen how an operator can manually update text from the Live Data tab, but the Layer Properties window contains another option, one for manually creating and playing different iterations of the same graphic. The all-new Multi-Entry tab houses a basic table where you can add new rows of information and treat each row as a new variant of text and other data. Information can be entered manually or copied from a spreadsheet, and you can click on a new row to populate your graphic with the selected text. By default, Tidler Live will not update a graphic that's currently live unless it receives the command to do so. You can choose to update your graphic with animation, without animation, or by switching from manual to auto update, tell Tidler Live to animate your changes as soon as a new row is clicked. The multi entry tab is a convenient way to build and drive data to your graphics in a spreadsheet format from directly within the software, but there are additional options for driving your data externally. Tidler Live 5 comes with the ability to tie Excel or other spreadsheet files on your hard drive to your graphics. Just click on the Data Controller column besides a graphic to select a data source and navigate to General, Spreadsheet, New Input. You'll get prompted with the option to select or generate a spreadsheet file. And once a spreadsheet file has been selected, a new tab will appear in the Layer Properties panel displaying its contents. This is where you can select a row to update your graphics data similar to the multi-entry feature, and any changes saved to your spreadsheet file will be reflected inside Tidler Live in real time. Also new to Tidler Live 5 is the ability to drive data from cloud-based spreadsheets via Google Sheets. To link a Google Sheet spreadsheet to a graphic, click the Data Controller dropdown and select Productivity, Google, Google Sheets, and create a new input. Once signed in, you'll see all of the folders and spreadsheets in your Google Drive. Click on your desired file and you'll again see your spreadsheet's data laid out in a table where clicking a new row will drive the selected data to your graphic. You'll notice that in this example, only the name and subtitle fields are being updated. That's because this graphic and every lower third template in Tidler Live has been set up with the variable names name and subtitle. Tidler Live has not automatically linked the subtitle to field to a column. You can manually perform this link by clicking the link button in a spreadsheet's header and selecting the text field you want to link with the selected column. Tidler Live 5 still comes with the ability to link data using the button below the preview window. Drag a variable name onto any text field in your design to link its data with that field. In addition to graphics, Tidler Live 5 introduces the ability to bring media files and live video feeds directly into the layer list, putting all of your broadcast graphic needs in a single location. Import a picture or video to call it in immediately, or select new live video to bring in live video feeds such as webcams, screen captures, or NDI feeds from your local network or conference call software such as Zoom and Microsoft Teams. Combine these video feeds with graphics and output the final product through conventional methods, NDI, HDMI, SDI, or use the newly added virtual webcam output to feed your production directly into your webinars, video calls, and live social streams. Other features such as text fit modes, rolling credits, and live video mapping provide a wealth of options for any broadcast, and depending on which edition of Tyler Live 5 you're using, present, sport, or broadcast, you'll have access to additional features and data controllers. This video will get you up and running with Tidler Live 5, but the features mentioned here just scratch the surface of what you can accomplish with Tidler Live. To learn more about Tidler Live or the entire family of NewBlue products, visit newbluefx.com today.